All right, guys, so I have some very, very exciting news for all you, you know, OG beast CPU miners out there or just workstations in general. AMD could be bringing dual socket support to Ryzen Threadripper Pro platforms up to 128 cores and four terabytes of memory capacities. That is absolutely insane. So a few days ago, Igor's lab leaked out the final specifications of AMD's Ryzen Threadripper 5000 Pro CPU lineup, which will consist of five SKUs. The lineup features up to 64 cores, 256 megabytes of cache, and 280 watt TDP and is based on the Zen 3 core architecture. There isn't any special 3D V catch or a six nanometer node optimized headed uh, for these chips, but there is one crucial aspect that is important for the workstation segment that might be coming to the family. In the leak specs, the AMD Threadripper 5000 Pro lineup is stated to support a 2P socket configuration. Similar to Intel's 2S, the 2P configuration means dual socket support, which points to the Red Team offering specialized workstation motherboards with the help of its OEM partners. This would allow AMD to get two Ryzen Threadripper CPUs on the platform instead of one that we currently get. So depending on the price of this motherboard, you know, we may be saving some money here, building ourselves some godly cpu mining rig so it's going to be pretty insane moving forward this could be a major blow to intel's workstation efforts as they will once again be left behind in the dust with amd conquering the core count segment with an astonishing 128 cores on their high-end swrx8 platform furthering confirming uh this is a pass mark entry discovered by tom's hardware which points to dual ryzen threadripper pro 3995WX 64 core CPUs running on a single motherboard. The dual CPUs were compared to a single uh, Threadripper Pro 3995WX 64 core chip, and the new config ends up with a 44% performance uplift. The performance results are represented in the table below via Tom's hardware. So only 44%. So it's going to be interesting. Obviously, myself, I can't afford all this to test out. But, you know, putting two CPUs, it looks like you get a 44% increase. So you may be better off, depending on the price of the motherboard and everything, to build two separate Threadripper uh, rigs alone. And that way, you know, you'll obviously be getting 100% out of each of them. But again, this is for a lot of workstation type of platforms. So when it comes to CPU mining, for us miners out there, you know, maybe we will see a higher performance uplift like a lot of people that are utilizing dual socket epics out there. Yes. A lot of people are using those. A lot of people, you know, have a lot deeper pockets than me. But, you know, it's pretty insane the capabilities that are coming out. I really do start wishing they will start dropping, you know, like Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series consumer grade CPUs. 3900X, 5900X, 5950X, 3950X. Those type dual socket support for those would be absolutely amazing in my mind. The performance gain isn't massive, but we have to remember that there are only a few synthetic benchmarks that are able to utilize the 64 cores on AMD's Ryzen Threadripper Pro chips, let alone 128 cores on a dual socket configuration. So they're not really utilizing it in these select few tests that are available. So when it comes to mining, we may again, just like I kind of said, be able to utilize even more of this dual socket uh, motherboards for two thread rippers. Very interesting to find out how this will play out, you know, once someone does get it, their hands on one of these things. I, I'm really excited for this, honestly. Uh, this opens up a whole new performance category for the workstation segment with over 100 cores, insane four terabyte system memory capacities, 16 memory channels, eight per chip, and an insane amount of PCI Express lanes. Surely this is a very attractive solution for workstation users. So again, depending on the motherboard, you may be able to fit, you know, 30 or 40 GPUs through a whole bunch of other splitters on top of this thing as well. So, you know, things could look absolutely insane moving forward. There are currently no commercially available motherboards that support dual Ryzen Threadripper Pro CPUs, but as mentioned above, AMD will be working with its partners to get them made if they are indeed going the 2P socket route. AMD's Epic server platform does have a, a lot of dual socketed motherboards, so OEMs such as Gigabyte, Supermicro, Azeroth Rack can definitely be the first ones to offer such a high-end workstation motherboard. The AMD Threadripper Pro 5000 CPUs are rumored for a March 2022 launch, 
So we might get to hear more about those from AMD at CES 2022. So that is pretty insane, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments right now. Are you pumped for this? Yes, it's probably going to be fairly expensive. And looking, you know, through building other rigs, a whole bunch of four or five 5950 x's is cheaper than you know building a 3990x type of rig and stuff but those motherboards are expensive as well so depending on the motherboarding pricing it may start looking a little better on the old pocketbook and we also don't know the performance yet but i'm sure somebody will get their hands on these if this does turn out to be true and i would really love to see some hash rates oh i would ultimately love to get my hands on this 100 but that don't think that's going to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about this. Hit that subscribe button, thumbs up button, bell notification. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.